Hey everyone, it's Maple Team. Today I'm going to be doing a American Horror Story Murder House Tate Landon Body Paint, which is more um, eyeliner. It's pretty much the majority of what I used here. I really used just three products, which was a ColourPop palette, a NYX Epic Ink Liner, and then a little bit of eye paint from Made You Look. So I started out with using Honeydew from ColourPop to do an outline, and I very quickly, one, I didn't outline it correctly, and two, I couldn't actually see my outline half the time. So then I went in with my eyeliner, and this is where I say I didn't outline it right. Always make sure your outlines are done right before you go into it. You'll notice that I end up having to redo some sections multiple times because I didn't outline it correctly and then I was making adjustments based off a picture of Tate that was going on. And eventually it will pop up on screen. I didn't have it initially on the screen but I did put it in it later. So now I'm going in with the eye right there you can see I just put the picture in. I'm trying to go as close as the reference picture from Tate of Tate from the show as possible, but I'm also kind of doing my own thing in some degree to it, um, just because I have a little bit of my own flavor to it. And of course, like I didn't have a hoodie. My hoodie was in the wash at the time, so I couldn't really use mine. And I'm using a eyeliner, and I'm pretty sure they probably use like a stencil or they use body paint versus I was using liquid liner. <laughs> for this so basically I'm just laying down every like pattern of a skull on my face so we're doing the eye socket right now and we don't have to worry about my eyes being closed because he has his eyes open if you don't know who this character is it's a it's a without giving too many spoilers it's a ghost and he's one of the main characters slash love interest of one of the characters that's in the family that lives in the murder house in present day time which is not been fast but it was present day i do believe when it came out um so yeah just doing everything here and this is where i kind of made something a little bit too far down from what they're supposed to be or they're too like thick so you'll see i'll go back and forth a few times and change how things are as i said outline everything beforehand like how you want it to look so that way you don't have to spend so much time taking things off and putting it back on. And another thing that I didn't do that I highly, highly recommend. Put your foundation on before you start putting on your body paint or your eyeliner. Because then you're going to have to go around everything and try to make it work when it is not going to work. Because you have paint in your way. <laughs> Also, use the right shade for your skin. Another important thing, I grabbed the wrong concealer and at that point I just was like, heck it, I'll go with it. Um, if you notice me using a, um, a paintbrush at any point, I'm just putting Bone Tone from Made You Look on just to do some highlights so there's a, a slight separation between my skin and everything else, but that's what I'm doing. But I haven't noticed that I forgot the concealer and the foundation until somewhere around this point while I was doing my teeth I was very interested in my teeth and then I was like wait or was it when I got the shadows I was like wait I don't remember at some point I like really I noticed it uh, we're doing my mouth socket and this is a thing that I failed to do there's supposed to be a, a jawbone that connects I didn't do that the first time like, I didn't leave room for it. Like, there's supposed to be an upper section, and I did not have that in there. So, I had to go back in and clean stuff up. See, now you see, I can put, I'm put, trying to put on the concealer, which is then just going to make me more cleanup work. Luckily, it's not paint, so it's not going to smudge, like, my brush. My, it's not going to, like, smudge on my, my sponge. Smudge, sponge. Say that ten times fast. It's really hard. So you see, I have to like, go back and do cleanup. But if it was like paint, that could have smudged everything. I would have been carrying that around. So just, just do it before you get to this point. So you don't have to keep going back and forth like 10 times. And also, if you do your outline right, you don't have to go back and forth 10 times on this part too. Because I had to. <laughs> and I'm just taking a black shade um, from ColourPop. It's from the Stone, um, Stone Cold Fox palette. 
but I'm sure they have like just plain black because I know they sell individual shadows or at least they used to I haven't purchased anything new from them in a long time so I'm not 100% sure if they still have individuals I'm just using a black from that palette because it was next to me and it's skin tone so that's why I was going with it and black just kind of leans towards the look that Tate has here so yeah I'm just kind of doing like a slight separation between the um where the highlight is and then my skin so it kind of looks like it's sitting above it but you'll see I kind of go back and forth between details 10 times erase things 10 times before I got it how I want it this look is basically just a a, a practice of patience and redos because I kept I kept redoing things at what point did I decide to redo things when I realized things were wrong that was that's all I, I, I can say just don't do it try try to do things beforehand so that way you don't have to do it 10 times over because that's annoying um and then I was I think at this point yeah going in deeping up some shadows on some spots just to kind of make the skull features really pop and like make them stand out from my skin more not that you have to as as tate in the show is it's basically like just a temporary tattoo it washes straight off i'm pretty sure it's paint i haven't seen that season of horror story in ages so i can't 100 percent remember so here's where i realized problems i was supposed to have a bottom jaw and a top jaw that connect on here and it was somewhere around this point that i realized that i did that completely wrong so i had to i first tried just putting in the spot Realized that my mouth like socket thing like where the back of the teeth is is too deep So I had to bring it forward a bit and then I had to sketch out the area that it was going to go into and Because I didn't leave that like spot where that top jaw kind of sits then I had to recarve out that piece so as I said many a times Make sure you have your outlines good and how you want them before you start filling it in with paint or you're going to be going back and forth between concealer, makeup wipe, and paint like a hundred times over until you're happy with what the results are. So just to avoid that, just make sure your outlines are how you want them because then you don't have to deal with that ever again. And I was just focusing just on the face to start with, but I am going to do the chest area as you can see from if you saw from the thumbnail. I did end up doing that. That is all paint and my leather jacket because I wasn't going to try painting a leather jacket because <laughs> it's supposed to be a hoodie and my hoodie was in the wash. I think he wears a hoodie and leather jacket, but I just had a leather jacket, so I was just wearing that. And if you, I am putting some bone tone, just some highlight spots, and then just like a, like I'm taking a little bit of a gray tone that's in that same palette with the black for some lighter shades, but most of them I'm just using black. And now here we go with the chest part. So I decided I was gonna take my freckle pen from ColourPop because this I could see better than the Honey Dude. The Honey Dude I couldn't see and it was starting to be, as you saw on the face, a problem. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna have the problems again. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna use the freckle pen, the freckle pen I can see, and it's gonna make it so it's gonna be easier. So I'm just putting on my jacket so I can kind of see roughly how far over I need to go. So that way, um, it's not like blank space but i'm also not going to go all the way down on my chest and because it's spine and neck mu muscles slash veins i don't have a sternum or a rib cage because that's just not part of the look that tate has for this so you'll see those are kind of missing but we're doing just the ribs not the ribs there are no ribs i don't know why there's also no sternum Someone doesn't know anatomy, but that's okay. <laughs> it's just, it's your spine, some, some, what look like veins, and then some spots that look like muscles. And I'm just kind of using a random pattern here for the, for veins. It's not like this is atomically correct, but for the most part, it's, it's, it's cool looking and I like it. So any small part where there's like tiny details, like gaps, I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. If there are any bigger gaps, that's where I use ink from Made You Look. 
I'm also going to use Bone Tone just as highlight points instead of a white liner like I normally do. And that's just because it's a little bit closer to my skin tone. So it would stand out more. Um, but yeah, as, as I said, if it was a bigger area, I used ink from Made You Look to fill in the gaps. Just because I wasn't trying, I didn't want to use up my entire liquid eyeliner just on filling up these parts that I could use body paint for. So yeah, we're just gonna go fill everything in here. And then we'll be taking that same black eyeshadow that I used up on the skull portion to fill in the like some shading points on everything else here and give it that depth and dimension that um, Tate's look in the original has. Again, I think it was just like, a, it almost it's like, just like a press on temporary tattoo is what it's kind of like going for. I just can't remember if it washes off because I highly doubt if, if this is Tate that he spent time body painting this. Like I feel like it's a temporary tattoo like you put on or something like that. But yeah, I think I was looking up another picture just like as a reference or a student something. I don't know what it was doing at that point, but just I'm just trying to make everything have some depth like the original does. I'm not worrying about my my own tattoos too much there because it's not like it's supposed to be realistic completely. So I'm not worrying about that too much. I'm just putting black literally everywhere. If it's closer like where there's a shadow area, I'm using more black. If there's less, I'm using less on my brush. So you'll it's kind of hard to see with the sped up version, but I'm tapping out the brush to get off the excess um, shadow, so that way it's very controlled as I'm going through. But pretty much I'm just using black eyeshadow throughout the entire thing, and then just highlighting and bone tone. I'm just adding that highlight kind of in many, pla many places, in every place where I think this kind of goes. Is that an accurate looking spine? No. No, it's not. And I'm aware that's not 100% what a spine would look like, but also you wouldn't see the spine. You would be seeing the sternum and the rib cage before you would see the spine <laughs> if you were looking from the back. <laughs> but this is not anatomically correct. And my ear is not the same shape as like Tate's ears. So it was kind of next to impossible to do the spider rub design that he has on his ears. And then I just slicked back my hair with like a hair gel. So that way it kind of resembled how Tate's is in the actual show. And I'm just adding just a few more details just to kind of give it a little bit more depth. But yeah, that's basically how I created this look. I did do it live on Twitch like I'm doing everybody, like I do both body paints. Um, I've linked that down in the description. But I hope you all are having a good day. If you like it, give it a like. If you want to see more of this, subscribe or join us on Twitch. I'd love to see you guys all there. Okay, bye!